Cree, you need me to open it for you? Hold on. Is Hold on. This roast still work out for you? Uh huh. Man, this stuff is so good. It's double cheese. Hold on. Now, do y'all know that police officers are your friends? <laughs> about you okay here we go that's yours who else will me open that how you doing young lady you know my name police officer norman all right how's everybody's day going i love you too that made my day that made my day huh huh no Mm. I love it. I love it. I love it. Man, Mitch, man. All right. So, so, so tell me, you can pause it. It's repeating now. Mitch, man. What's up? What, 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 are, what are your thoughts about that? You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> first off, you know, I was, I was digging I like it. This. I like this. I, like I was this. digging it and I wish, uh, we can see more positivity like that. Now, to me, I think they call it community policing. That's some community policing right there. Mm -hmm. He was just chilling with the kids. They felt comfortable. Definitely, he felt comfortable. Yes. Just helping yes. them out. And yes. that means so much to those kids right there. And you heard what he said. Y'all know the police. Love you. Here for you. Maybe the words in that effect. But here for you, if y'all saw that right there, that's just one prime example of what it needs to look like. That's because that, can... that right there, I, that, I, I totally agree with you, brother. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. That right there, that setting that, you know, um, the police officer is just, you know, getting down to their level and just having, having a snack. Yes. That's all it is, yes. just having yes. a snack yes. with them. And you don't necessarily even got to have that snack, but just being relatable and being down yes. on their level you know what i mean mm -hmm. in which can go a long way because the way that the media is going right now brother uh -oh. brother the way that the media is going and attacking uh cops and put them all in the box and they all are against black you know that's what it is you know that's what it is and we need to we need to get rid of that little um uh what's the word i can't even think of the word now stereotype what 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 <laughs> You know that's what it was. Stereotype. Yes, yes uh -huh. man. Yes. We need to get rid of that, man, because it's not like that. And it and I've said this in previous videos. In the grand scheme of things, we are not getting killed or shot or anything like that by the police officer like we are doing to ourselves. That's yeah. what's happening. That's exactly what's happened. And, and, I, and like I said, I like this, that he got down on the level, got with them, talked to them, and embraced them like that. Because, you know, um, there's no telling what being said, you know, at home or whatever. Well, Kane, you think, and what you just said, I agree with 100%, but those kids are going to remember that. Yeah, of course. They're going to remember that. And then when they see them, hey, then maybe something go on. Hey, officer, mm -hmm. I got this going on. What do I need to do? So especially as they grow, yes. you know, yes. especially if he have that same beat mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now they looking forward to seeing him. Yeah. Now it's not about the snacks yeah. or whatever, yeah. just for that encouragement. Yeah. How you doing today? Yep. How you doing? People. Waving. Hey, how's it going? Oh, that's Officer Norman. Yeah. Hey, Officer Norman. Yes. That's yes. how, yes. how it would be. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. And and, and if he stays in that, you know, um, in that neighborhood or whatever, and stays yes. in that section or whatever, everybody get to know him, and he'll get to know them, and he will be able to engage and relate to a lot of different instances that them little kids may be growing up to be a part of. Because he'll be like, oh, that little Keith, I, I let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. You know what I mean? He can pull him to the yeah. side because he got that, that he, he has that, that relationship. personal relationship. Yes, yes. Yes. Come on. We can say that personal say. relationship. But, but, and, but that's, I think that that's where we need to go, especially in those type of communities in, in the, um, 
in those crime uh, ridden communities because you know, you don't necessarily have to do this in uh, you know the uh, uh, suburbs or anything like that because I mean there's not a lot of crimes and there's not a lot of pointing fingers at the cops are doing all of this and doing all of that. But in those communities like that, even, I mean, it could be in trailer parks, whatever, man, wherever the low, wherever there's crime at, let's be relatable and let's sit down with them. And, and do, Kane, I'll say this and doing things like that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, in the community, mm -hmm. they talk about this snitching rule or whatever. Well, we building, he's building that relationship or whatever mm -hmm. he's not going to do anything to jeopardize those kids as they get older but those kids get older they might see something hey also norman to the side hey this is what happened you might have the wrong information forget this no snitching rule he has a relationship he's seeing about those kids we don't know what their family dynamic is what is a but snitch? he's there what is a snitch mitch Okay, a snitch could be. Explain to the congregation. Okay, congregation. Everybody some people will put it, don't know what it is. Well, so you got okay, kind of. Okay, Roger that. Put, a, okay. put me on. Well, okay, a snitch. Say a crime happens in your neighborhood. Usually we're talking about the, the, the urban areas, the projects. We all know, okay? And you see it. You know who did it. But. The police respond to the scene. Somebody get some innocent person might have got shot. They might have been trying to shoot the other person. And then nobody's gonna say anything because you're labeled a snitch. And what the the grand rule, snitches get stitches. Now you might have some get back. Okay, get back because they're gonna retaliate against you. Mm -hmm. And then the snitching can go as far as in our school system. This person did this. We're not gonna snitch on this person. And that supposed to be a code. Come on now. You see so, wrong. So, so if, say it. So you're saying like if you see something wrong, because my my I guess I would look at it, snitching is a snitch would be somebody who is doing dirt, whatever that dirt may be, stealing, killing, whatever. And then in order for them to get a lighter sentence or to get off, they will snitch on the next person that's doing dirt. That's Kane. to me is considered snitching. Now, okay, see, if you're going to talk about uh, there was a crime that happened, you're you're an eyewitness. That's what you're a witness to the crime. That's what that is. That's not snitching. You okay, you, Kane. You, no. But look, look. Thank you for that. Thank <laughs> you for that. And people, did you see what he just did? And I applaud him for that. It was nothing wrong. But that's two definitions of snitching. Okay. He even though you're an eyewitness. Or eyewitness, people, come on. We both done grew up in areas mm -hmm. or whatever. They still would say that's snitching. Mm -hmm. Okay. An eyewitness that saw, and you know, and people know in their burrows, in their hoods, mm -hmm. wherever you want to call it, who did that crime. We know who that bad person is usually, but nobody going to say anything because why they don't want to be Why they don't say anything? Snitch. Why they don't say anything? Are they in fear Retaliation? of their life? It could be possibly. Yes, could be possibly. And then I want to hit on the other part that you yeah, just yeah. said. A snitch, a person that's doing dirt. Mm -hmm. But then me and Kane, we done did some, we done did a crime. Okay. But I'm the first, they talked to me first. I was there, but I'm going to put it on Kane. I don't want to do no 10 years. If they say, okay, you can that's, do that's, a that's, year. A, that's a snitch. That's right a there. snitch. That's a snitch. Yes. That's a snitch also. Oh. And in the criminal mass, in the criminal world, that is truly, and they'll say rat. They will say rat. Mm -hmm. But they snitching. They snitching to get a lighter sentence. And if you're in that world, people, get out of it. Get out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I think we got another uh, yeah. video over. Um, uh, let's check it out. Just a reaction for us. All right. Andrew Parrish, a Port Berry police officer, is getting recognition tonight for helping out a family in need. Katie Easter has more with the officer who says his good deed is just a part of the job. Police are known to respond to many situations, some negative, some positive. On Wednesday, Officer Bradley Tate of Port Berry used his badge for the better. While out patrolling, Tate was approached by a young boy. He said, we don't have any food in the house and I haven't eaten in a day. He said, can you take me to the store and buy me a bag of chips and you know, a soda or something. 
And uh, I mean, I told him, I was like, I'll do, I'll do something better. I'll take you to the grocery store. From there, Tate worked with several others to provide days worth of groceries for the family of six. It, there's a there's a difference between just being a law enforcement officer and a community policeman. You know, this is a community that we live in, mm. so why not be a part of that? Tate shared his story over Facebook, which now has over 1,000 likes. It was just something to share with family and friends, like, you know, an average day on the job. You, it, anything you do for family, I do for these people. Blown out of what I wanted it to be. So how do you feel about that now? That's a, that's a hard question. I think the public needs to see that cops are still human. There's so much negative media regarding police officers. And yeah. there's only a small percentage of negative policemen in this line of work. The chief of police secretary, small. Don Cubito, said this is not an uncommon thing. And now that it's becoming summer, it's going to be more and more. A lot of us here. We'll take money out our own pockets. Officer Tate says he hopes family and needs will ask for help. And so that was a beautiful, that was a beautiful story. Right yeah, there. yeah, that, that, that was good. That was good. And uh, um, I think it's needed. I think it's warranted, you know, uh, to for the police officers to actually, you know, be in the community and, and, and do those type things. You know, they don't have to go all extravagant or anything like that, buy groceries right, and right. all that. But just being a part of the community and being that face, and people are, you know, know them, you know, by name and all of that. I mean, it, it'll go a long ways. And I think that that will kind of help, you know, in those um, in those situations. So um, do more. I, 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 uh, I would like to see the police officers be a little bit more involved in um, in the communities. You know, I mean, I, I understand. I understand some there's shortages. There are things that, that come yes. up, you know, uh, defunding and all this other stuff that goes on yeah. or whatever. But uh, if it's possible, I, I would suggest, you know, being more so involved in the community so you can be better relate. What are your thoughts? Oh, just just final thoughts on this. Um, it's, it's, it's odd to me when uh, if you get in a conversation about people and they talk about law enforcement where people sometimes they face just frowns up they don't like the police people it, it it gets to me a little bit when they say i hate the police i hate them I, it gets to me on that aspect you can't judge them by just seeing what the media puts in front of your face time and time and time again because it's many stories just like what we just saw in those last two videos it's many stories out there or whatever and who are you gonna call when you in your time of need you will call the police okay. so i applaud the men and women that's doing the job and that's doing the job correctly that's my thoughts all right and that's the uncomfortable truth yes roger that out